Hey everybody, it's Maya, and today we are going to be reviewing some new Tower 28 makeup. So they just released their SBF Tinted Moisturizer Skin Tint, whatever you call it. The official name is Sunny Days, and they just launched this in the fall, which I was a little confused by, but when I thought about it, I was just like, we still need to wear sunscreen, whether it's summer or fall or winter whatever the sun is still out so i have mine in the shade melrose which was not the lightest shade pretty sure it was the second or third shade it's actually light with neutral undertones but it looked the most peachy to me like i go for more peachy foundations and this is the one that looked like that and yeah so this is alcohol free fragrance free non irritating it has skincare ingredients in it. Also has drug facts since this is a sunscreen. But I love this packaging, super super cute. Now let's look at the actual product. So it's just a cute little tube. Yeah, decent size. It's really really cute. I like how they have a little sun with your shade right there. This is the applicator. I love that applicator. So cute. Okay, this is what I'm really I apologize for my lighting today. Um, it's super gloomy out. It's been raining for days and there's a house being built right outside my window blocking any sun. So I'm just using artificial lighting. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, so this is the shade right here. It looks like a really nice shade match for me. I'm just going to blend that out. And it is super dewy. As you can see, my skin looks, my hand looks wet. But that looks really, really beautiful. It doesn't look too sheer. It almost looks like a basic skin tint coverage. Like you can sheer it out, but it definitely has some coverage in it. So, so if you're interested in seeing the Tower 28 tinted sunscreen in action, then just keep on watching. I'm going to go in with the Tower 28 Daily Rescue Spray. And this stuff is really nice. I haven't used it consecutively enough to see if it does do a difference to my skin, but I will try to get better with that. So to start off with the skin or with the foundation, tinted sunscreen, I'm just going to apply it to my face as if I would any other skin tint. I'm not sure how much is too much, so I'm going to say that's a good amount. And I'm going in with my Rare Beauty foundation brush. So, skin, the match to my skin is, I would say, perfect. I'm so sorry if you can hear that snoring. I'm so angry right now. Damn. It looks really, really pretty on the skin. It doesn't smell like sunscreen, so if you are somebody who's like, Hates the smell of sunscreen, doesn't smell like sunscreen. It is actually pretty decently coveraged. Over here I have lots of redness and discoloration. And over here it just looks really perfect. And it does a really good effect. I make my skin look really good. I like that a lot. Same over here. But yeah, this foundation or tinted sunscreen is beautiful. It's super glowy and it gives the perfect amount of coverage in my eyes. Like this coverage is everything that I strive for in a foundation. I like when it's sheer, buildable to medium. Do not like full coverage, but honestly this might as well be full coverage in my book. Like on my definition and stuff. Because this looks really gorgeous and I just covered up all of my problems I would a hundred percent go out the house with this tinted moisturizer on 10 out of 10 tower 28 blew it out the park with this one so I'm just going to finish the rest of my face I'm gonna be using mostly tower 28 products for the cheeks and then for the lips so if you want to stick around and watch that go ahead if not you can skip to here I'll have it somewhere here or something you can skip there and see the final results as well as my finished opinions 
and maybe a wear test if I get around to it. So for a concealer, I'm going in with my Undone Beauty concealer in the shade Buttercream Medium. And I'm not going to do too much. I'm just going to keep it on the under eyes today. I'm not going to apply any to like the chin like I usually do. Just because I really want the Sunny Days Tinted Sunscreen to be the star today. I didn't even need concealer, but... I just feel incomplete when I don't use it. So next, I'm going to go in with the bronzer. I'm using the Tower 28 Bronzino in the shade West Coast. I have a bunch of Tower 28 videos on my channel already. I'm using these products, but just to do it, I'm just going to swatch the bronzer. The swatches look better on my other videos because the lighting isn't so fake. But it's a really pretty bronzer with a nice shimmer to it. And I really, really like it. I'm going to apply it with a little one of these brushes. Just pick it up. And I'm going to bronze the skin up. Well, I prefer to use like a bigger brush, but I'm using that from the blush. But yeah. It's okay. It does the job. Just makes your cheeks look really healthy and glowy, adding a nice bronze to the skin as well. I did originally have the shade Sun Coast. I have a video on that and if you're unaware that shade is like so light on me it looks like a highlighter. So I went ahead and got West Coast instead and it is the perfect match for my skin tone. For blush, <laughs> going in with the Tower 28 Beach Please blush in Magic Hour, which I've been using a lot lately. And it's just a neutral peachy pink kind of blush. Super natural and really pretty. Cute. And then I'm going to take whatever on my finger and apply that on the lips because I'm going in with a darker lip gloss later, but I want this to be the base. Okay, so next we are going to set the skin with my Undone Beauty Under Over Powder in the shade Light. Yesterday when I was doing my makeup, I was trying out this new stack and... That video will be up soon as well because I'm reviewing it tomorrow and that'll be up sometime whenever I get around to editing it. But um, yeah, I was trying this new stack out. Well, it's not new, but it's new to me. And they had a pressed powder in there for setting your skin and right underneath it was a highlight. And I thought I was grabbing the powder. I was actually grabbing the highlight and I ended up highlighting my under eyes with I thought it was setting powder and I just used straight up glitter on my under eyes and it wasn't like glittery it was more shimmery so it didn't actually look too bad it actually looked kind of pretty because my under eyes just look really juicy and everything but yeah I was mad because I couldn't thoroughly see how the makeup was actually wearing because in reality I used highlighter to set my face yeah, I love this under over powder. It makes your skin look flawless. I'm pretty sure it's like a perfecting powder because it makes your skin look perfect. Even if you have texture on your skin from your foundation, it kind of just makes it smooth over and it's really, really pretty. Right now, I'm just taking the same blush brush and whatever is left on it. I'm just going to amp up the blush. I'm not going to add more blush on top because I tend to go overboard, but if there's anything left over on the brush, which was just to bring that back to life a little bit but now we're gonna go in with the eyes I'm using the rare beauty eyeshadow palette and I love this palette going in with this brown shade right here and I'm just taking that into the crease and just creating a basic simple look with this cannot wait till my man gets here we're gonna go get some canes 
if you don't have a Canes by you, you're missing out. We're going to get that, hopefully. Sometimes that changes mine last minute. We might end up getting something else, but for now it's Canes. When I wear yellow, I like to wear yellow eyeshadow, but I went on a trip um, last, it wasn't last year. It was way earlier this year. I went on a trip, brought my favorite eyeshadow palette, which was to take me back to Brazil palette. And I loved it because I would always match my eyeshadow to whatever shirt I was wearing. And I was really obsessed with yellow at the moment, so I was doing yellow eyeshadow with yellow shirts. It looked fire. Couldn't find the palette. I know I took it home with me, but I've yet to see it. Maybe I'm just not looking hard enough, but I have not seen it in forever, and I'm sad. <laughs> Next, I'm going in with this gold shade right here, and I'm just going to pack that on the lid. It's a nice, subtle sweep. This does the job. Honestly, my eyes look yellow now and it is a pretty shade of gold it's not like a green gold it's just nice and yeah I've just been doing this basic look whenever I wear yellow because it looks good <laughs> taking the brown again I'm just gonna bring some more depth back into that because I did lose a little bit of it okay that's it for the eyes i just want to do something very basic but yeah next i am just going to use my galactic brown eyeliner i'm using the item beauty brow pen or brow chow in the shade medium brown or mascara going in with the rare beauty mascara okay and then for the lips I'll be going in with the Tower 28 Milky Lip Jelly in the shade Cashew. Yeah, that shade looks really good with this makeup. Very, very pretty. I have to say I'm obsessed with this makeup. I it looks beautiful. Baby, what are you doing? Come here. Come here, girl. Oh I to, look at her. Come here, baby. Come here. She's so cute. Come here, baby. <laughs> look at her. She's barely in frame, I know. But she's the cutest little girl. Okay, so this is the finished skin look how glowy just good that looks it i can't explain it it looks stunning i have a lot of skin tints in my collection most of them make me end up looking creasy or they don't give as much coverage but this has the perfect amount of coverage the perfect amount of do and everything about it just looks stunning and i'm so happy that it's a sunscreen because I'm pale and I need it. 10 out of 10 for me, a bunch of people were saying that they loved the Tower 28 skin tint. I love Tower 28 everything. All of their products are always amazing for some weird reason. They just never miss, but yeah. So I'm outside my house. I don't know where the best lighting is and I'm also using my iPhone, but lighting kind of sucks out here but hey look there's a huge sunset in the background okay so this is how the makeup held up i don't know if you guys can tell i'm not oily or anything i just had that really nice glow going on still as well as still being like set down there's the house they're building it's literally right outside my bedroom window my bedroom window is right there and that's the freaking house my family's back i don't want them to see me but yeah, the makeup looks really, really good. You can see I have a little bit of shine, but I think it looks really good. I don't have any separation. Everything still looks pretty vibrant and 10 out of 10 for me. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, leave a comment, and I will see you guys next time.